జీవితమే ఒక ఆట సాహసమే పూబాట కోలమ్మ గళ్ళ కోకి కాకెత్తు కెళ్ళ కోరిల్ దీచుకోవా నమస్కారం పరదేశీ పెద్దమ్మ కథలకు స్వాగతం ఈ రోజు మేము చర్చించుకోబోయే సినిమా మెగాస్టార్ చిరంజీవి కెరీర్ లో ఒక టర్న్ ఓవర్ అని చెప్పుకోవచ్చు అంటే అప్పటి వరకు చిరంజీవి యాక్ట్ చేసిన సినిమాలకు భిన్నంగా హాలీవుడ్ స్టైల్ లో ఒక రాబిన్ హుడ్ కథను తీసుకొచ్చి తెలుగు ప్రజలకు పరిచయం చేసేటువంటిది అలాంటి మూవీని చిరంజీవి తీసుకుని కొండవీటి దొంగగా అప్పుడు తెలుగు ప్రేక్షకులు అందించారు సో నాతో పాటు మెల్ని కూడా కొండవీటి దొంగ సినిమా చూశారు సో మెల్ని రివ్యూ ఏంటి కొండవీటి దొంగ సినిమా పైన అడుగు హాయ్ మెల్ని హవా యూ Namaskaram. <laughs> Namaskaram. <laughs> This was it's so wonderful to be back talking with you about uh classic Telugu cinema and you really picked a very fun movie <laughs> for this time. <laughs> yeah, previously um, we watched Vijayata. That is earliest right. uh, days of Megastar Chiranjeevi. So, um uh, what is different between Vijayata and Kondavid Donga that you have observed? Okay so so I didn't look up the film you know on Wikipedia or read who the director was or anything before I started watching it and it was so different from Vegeta I mean this is only my second turn gb film okay and so I I was like wow this is a really different director and then I look it up and like it's the same director as Vegeta <laughs> so that was you know such an emotional family melodrama with you know a just a really down to earth plot and this is just crazy <laughs> and i have to tell you so i didn't know um who all the uh supporting actors were going to be and this is literally what i did when amrish puri came on the on the screen i went yes <laughs> I, was so, i was so excited that he was the villain but he's only one of the villains <laughs> there's like i think there's like four main villains you know the landlord uh, so you'd have the whole landlord plot, plot of them the tribes people and then um yeah <laughs> and then we just have the crazy of amish puri with his lair with the crocodiles and the cheetahs and the the whole thing <laughs> so i was i was just like <laughs> <laughs> this is truly a masala movie because it just has a little bit of everything in it and um the other thing that i really loved about it was there were so many strong women characters in the film it's an action movie you, you said it was like hood but it also reminded me of zoro especially the way that um and jv's costume sort of like black leather and the yeah. black mask and the white horse i love his dog i never i don't remember them ever seeing what the dog's name was with the fact that the dog even could disguise himself <laughs> 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 and, i mean it was just awesome i love i love the dog and the horse and the, the horse would get in on the fights and everything but um anyway so it reminded me of zoro um uh, which is also a similar kind of plot of someone just you can't uh, i mean turn to his character is actually offer the job of collector but instead of working within the legal system he just like no i'm going to i'm going to become this bandit and i'm going to just forget the law we're just going to you know make everything right <laughs> you know fight injustice with a a, a very sheer mess that let's just say this <laughs> but i i just i loved all the action the mu- the music beyond and what the music was so great i loved all the songs and the costumes okay it's you know it's over it's 1990 costumes we have to make some allowances but i will just tell you i just started laughing up loud some of the background dancers costume i was like whoa <laughs> but cheer and gp was amazing and so i was anyway i started talking about the, the strong women so yeah, you, we you have a know. yeah we have a love triangle we have radha and we have vijay vijay shanti yeah. and then later in the movie comes um the, his mother character Shadow and I, she she was so intense so intense the scene where she goes to buy a machete <laughs> you know <laughs> and you could just see the look in her eye like which one can cut a guy's head off <laughs> <laughs> I love that scene. 
seen so much. She was amazing. So I just thought here we have such a masculine story, a mas masculine action story, the kind of movie where at the end, Amish Free and Chiranjeevi are fighting shirtless on the top of a moving train. And yet we have all of these strong women. So I thought that was wonderful. But it yeah. was also the kind of movie where the plot sometimes got so crazy that I was, it's a good thing I wasn't in the movie theater because I was literally yelling at my screen. <laughs> you know, I was just like, when Amish Free, who has been this, you know, Swami kind of character, yeah. right? But then when he shows up later in the movie as the cop, I was like, what? <laughs> I'm a big fan of his voice, actually. You, you are, from, you are from Chicago. You all are group with uh, Joro and Robin Hood. So this is the version of Telugu Robin Hood. How do you like it? Right. What is that? What is your opinion? Your opinion comparing both? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of movies, a lot of Indian movies where character, the main character gives up on the law and the legal system and has to just take take justice into their own hands right and this is just another version of that but with more flair and a cool costume <laughs> right <laughs> so i just loved you know his his horse i mean the openings that first song unfortunately my version of the subtitles i had no subtitles for any of the songs but i could get oh. you know it that that opening song which kind of establishes the his character. Uh, and, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. If you, so, if you have subtitles, it will be very meaningful, actually. The writer, lyric writer, Vetur Sundaram Murthy, is renowned for his uh, meaningful lyrics. So, I mean, uh, that, I mean that, one, that song was just so great because it just kind of had that, um, like an American Western feel to the music. You know, it yeah. had some of those kind of same elements. Um, I have to say, probably the the songs that he did with Vijaya Shanti were my favorite ones, like the Chamaka Chamaka song. That is my absolute favorite one. But I, I, just, favorite no, one. I mean, the whole that Chamaka Chamaka was my favorite, and then the Kola 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 Kola. Yeah. I, I loved, I mean, again, I have no, I didn't, I didn't have subtitles for the lyrics, but I didn't really completely need them because, I mean, the dancing was so wonderful and so captivating and just the music of the songs are just so great. I mean, you know, this is the master Ilya Raja, right? Music. Yeah. Um, I can imagine Natural. this entire soundtrack was blockbuster. That is the just common thing in 90s, soundtrack. actually. When the trio, Chiranjeevi, uh, director Kodan Ram Reddy and music director Ilay Raj, when the trio playing, that is the common thing, is all songs are chart -pushed. Right. Yeah, I can imagine so. I mean, uh, this movie must have been so fun to see in a theater with the crowd. I could just only imagine everybody cheering and yelling and and just really getting into all the, the fun. and. Um, Okay, so I was trying to puzzle out, was Chiranjeevi's brother the sort of mysterious character um, that he fight? He has one of the first fights with in this in the movie. Um, he's like wandering where he's looking for justice or something. I can't remember the character's name, but was that Chiranjeevi's brother that was playing that part? Yeah, he's I think the own brother. Right. So, <laughs> so I love that. I mean, the fight sequences were very inventive. I mean, some of them got a little crazy. That one where there was sort of like the, I don't I know. Think, like I, I think, do you know Ram Charan, right? Charanjeevi's son. Uh, yes. If, if yeah. you see old photos, uh, childhood photos of Ram Charan, there are so many photos in the set of Kondavit Donga, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> that cowboy get up, that uh, Zoro get up. Yeah. I mean, the fight sequences were really interesting and fun. Um, little, <laughs> I mean, they were crazy. There was that one where the sort of this, I don't know, this, the, the thing with the super long metal arms. I don't know. My husband walked into the room at that point. He's like, what is even going on? 
<laughs> that is the magic. I'm like, I can't explain it. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But I just I just thoroughly enjoyed this movie. It was so much fun. And there's just so much. There's so much that happens in the movie. I mean, it's yeah, I mean, it's whatever, two and a half hours. But you're never bored for a single solitary moment because something is always happening. We need to talk about actually the choreography, the slow movements, dancing movements of Chiranjeevi and Vijay Shanti, Radha, all our iconic steps for every each and every song. Oh, that they, they were his uh their dancing and the choreography i just loved it i mean it was very yes i yeah i loved it i loved the songs i loved and i love the choreography i can imagine i can imagine people going back to see the movie just to see all the songs again i mean yeah. I, i would i could totally understand that repeat audience for only dancing movie <laughs> well i mean that's the thing cheer and jv is really the whole package right yeah. he's such an amazing dancer perfect word whole package and he has charisma and comedy in um the romantic scenes in this film i mean a lot of comedy and teasing and then he has the charisma to carry this full action role which You know that's not what I saw in Vegeta. I saw a very different turn GV. I mean, equally good. I'm not, you know, not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying, I know Turn GV is really known for all of these action kind of films, and this was really showing me he totally has it. And just there was so many more, um, all these fight sequences and how athletic he is, and just <laughs> all of those fights. I mean, so. Yeah, complete package complete package that you can tell yeah. why exactly he's such a popular superstar yeah when coming to the point of director i to make a concept based movie is very difficult but while seeing these type of movies especially kodan ram reddy chiranjeevi combination nearly 26 movies they uh, they both uh, acted uh, combinedly they both make uh, 26 movies all are commercial hits so this is the difficult thing to make a commercial movie too Yes, yes, I, I agree with you. I mean, and it's I was really surprised that it was the same director because it just has such a completely different feel about the movie um, than Vegeta did. You know, so I'm not, you know, I'm not some some directors get pigeonholed. You know, they just kind of are known for just one kind of yeah. film, yeah. and this shows that this director had such range. you know yes i can do this intimate family melodrama and i can also do this kind of a movie with big songs and action sequences on top of moving trains and and all of that right <laughs> so um yeah so i mean just it just showed me i've only seen two of his films but it just shows me already what a wide range he had what a talent he had to do all different kinds of movies yeah so Uh, this is the movie that you have watched completely and you thoroughly enjoyed i am very I happy i thoroughly enjoyed so this is a movie that is if you don't need english subtitles is available ah. for free on youtube um so it's readily available i highly recommend it you know if it's just an, such an enjoyable good time of a movie yeah thank you thank you so much melanie thank you harsha this was really fun yeah thank you thank you so much సో ఇది చిరంజీవి ఒక రాబిన్ హుడ్ గెటప్ లో కొండవీటి దొంగ సినిమాతో చేసిన మ్యాజిక్ కావచ్చు ఎలేరాజా మ్యూజిక్ ఆరు పాటలు ఏడు పాటలు ఉంటే మొత్తం అన్ని కూడా చాట్ బాస్టర్స్ అవడం కోదండ్ రామ్ రెడ్డి చిరంజీవి కాంబినేషన్ లో వచ్చిన కమర్షియల్ హిట్ జాబ్ దా సినిమాలో ఈ సినిమా కూడా చేరు సో ఇవన్నీ కూడా చిరంజీవి మెగాస్టార్ గా పేరు తెచ్చుకోవడానికి చాలా హెల్ప్ఫుల్ అయిన సినిమాలు సో ఇది కొండవీటి దొంగ సినిమా గురించి మెల్ని ఇస్తున్న రివ్యూ మరో వచ్చేవారు మరో మంచి సినిమా రివ్యూ తో మళ్ళీ మేము సో అంటిల్ దెన్ బాయ్ Thank you thank you so much Melanie Bye